Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Business Growth Guide and this is hack number two. So in hack number two, we're gonna talk about the customer avatar and the customer avatar is crucial when it comes to actually attracting the type of customers that we want, right? You have this image, this ideal customer or consumer in your head that you really wanna focus on. That's the type of person that you wanna attract, that you wanna bring into your business. So let's actually create a, an identity of what this person may look like, right? So let's, let's jump right in. I, I really like this one. So the customer avatar, actually let me start with a quote. So one of my favorite quotes uh, by Seth Godin is, if you're targeting everyone, you're targeting no one, right? And that's one of the worst things you do. We try to cast this broad net that, cap, that hits everybody. But we wanna make sure that we focus on small pools of people. We wanna focus on a very small niche first and really try to master that niche. Try to offer the most perfect product or service for that niche and then expand into more niches and, and, and really grow from there, right? We don't need a million, you know, a, a million person audience um, if we can't even get, you know, our thousand person audience, right? So let's, let's focus on that thousand, go to 10,000, go to 100,000, so on and so forth. Um, so the customer avatar will allow you to have a mapped out understanding of who you're looking to serve, easier to communicate with your specific audience, right and uh, we can aim small and expand reach as you go remember who your ideal customer is when designing marketing messaging or web copy so you know one of the worst things you can do is to have mixed messaging right have you know where we're communicating a specific type of way on our website but then we're communicating differently on say our ads or say you know some of our chat bots or some of the other things that we have going on maybe our emails we want to communicate effectively all throughout we don't want to have you know bits and pieces and we don't want to you know we don't want mixed messaging that's one of the worst things we can have as a business because that that messes with our identity right um, and then also you know none of us really like to do research some people might um, but this makes the research part just so much easier right customer research can be a drag but if you have something like this it makes it much much easier so let's jump in let me show you guys so as you can see the customer avatar is very simple. Um, there's some, 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 a few different little small things that may be different from what you're used to, but you know, goals and values, right? We start with goals and values and we all understand kind of you know, what goals are, we understand what values are. So let's start by saying, okay, what are the goals of our ideal consumer, right? What are the values of our ideal consumer? What are the things that they want what are the things that they want? Re unrelated to our service, unrelated to our product, unrelated to the problem that we're trying to solve, we want to know this person in and out, right? We want to know what they like to do. Um, and then let's jump right over here to challenges and pain points. So challenges and pain points, what are the challenges that they're going through, right? Super straightforward. Maybe they're struggling with, you know, uh, maybe it's an identity struggle or maybe it's a uh, a home, you know, a home situation where, you know, the, the kids want to do this and the parents want to do that. Whatever the challenges are, let's label them because this is really going to help us as we move forward. And I'll show you guys more. Um, and then we have pain points, right? And the pain points are straightforward. What are the very similar challenges? What are some of the, the, the things that are really, really hurting them? Maybe it's back pain, right? Maybe it's knee pain. Maybe it's something very specific that you know that your ideal consumer is dealing with. Right. Then let's jump back over here to sources of information and really sources of information is, you know, what are the books that they like to read? What are the magazines that they like to read? What are the blogs and websites that they go on? What are the conferences? Who are their gurus? Right. When we know these things, we know our consumer. We know what they're reading. We know what they what they what they love. We know what they like. And when we know these things, we're actually able to, um, you know, use communication that's similar to what they're already interested in. Right? So if you know there's a magazine or a book that they love, then why not communicate the same way that that book or magazine does, right? Or if we know what type of blogs and websites they're on, why not put ads on those blogs and websites, right? So these are just a few things that are super, super helpful. Let's jump over to objections, right? Objections and role in purchase, pro in purchase process. So objections to the sale. Um, as you know, you know, everybody kind of has an excuse for why they can't do something. So let's address that excuse upfront and understand what that excuse might be. And then we can actually put things in play to make sure that we're actually addressing those objections before they ever even say them, right? And I'll show you guys some more examples. And then role and purchase process is really, you know, are they the purchaser? Are they the parent that's purchasing for the child? Are they, you know, vice versa? So whatever the role is, 
um, it's important to know that as well because we want to know who we're speaking to right at the end of the day. Um, and then some of this stuff is kind of demographics, you know, what's the age, gender, marital status, number of children, location, uh, what's their favorite quote, what's a quote that they might live by, you know, an occupation, job title, annual income, level of education. So I know what some of you guys are probably thinking like, whoa, this is really in depth. Like this is kind of scary. Like, you know, like how do we even have all this, get this information? So I'm gonna tell you right now, you, you make this stuff up, right? Based on what your ideal customer is. Um, you do some research, of course, to figure out what are some of the books, some of the magazines, what are some of the challenges? Like, you know, do the research to get facts, but you're, you're, you're creating an identity, right? So I'm gonna show you guys actually this next example. Um, so this is one of the customer avatars for one of, one of, one of our clients, and they, they do fitness, and so this was for a boot camp, right? We were offering a boot camp and personal training. Um, we, we actually made up, this is just an image from Google. The name is Jessica, a made up name, fictitious name. Um, the age, female, single, all of that stuff is, is totally you know, made up. Right, based on the location that we want to target, based on the type of person that we want to target as well. Um, but as you can see, the goals, right? She wants to lose 40 pounds, she wants to travel, she wants to learn a new language, buy a home, try new things. Like these are the goals that she has that are totally not related to fitness or boot camps or anything of, of that nature. Then we have values, right? And values is family, respect, honesty, responsibilities, health, love. Uh, and then sources of information, we have the books, Coldest Winter Ever is a popular book. Uh, magazines, People's Mag, and then blogs and website, Moms Wear Hills, right? Uh, and then we go over to challenges and pain points, and we have, you know, one of the challenges is she has a busy schedule, she has a small budget, she has excess body weight, she has back pain, right? These are challenges that she's dealing with on a regular basis. Then we have the pain points, right? Um, health is a, is a really big deal for her, saving money is a big deal, parenting is a big deal, nutrition, weight loss, and toning. Um, those are all really big pain points for her. So these are things that we can touch on. These are things that we're going to talk about in our marketing, on our website, in our emails, in all that we do because this is the person that we are making this product or service for, right? Then we have the objections in the uh, objections and role in purchase project process. Um, it's too expensive. Don't have a babysitter. My schedule is tight, can't drive far. So what we're gonna do is we're literally gonna take these objections that we know she has and we're gonna communicate them. It's not too expensive because we're gonna give it to you 25% off. Um, don't worry, you don't need a babysitter because we have a baby section, right? My schedule is tight, that's fine. We're, we're, we're open seven, uh, seven days a week, 24 hours. So um, can't drive far, don't worry about that. We're only targeting a five mile radius. So if you saw this ad, you are in that radius. So as you can see, understanding these objections can really help us kind of put our, our consumers on a fast track because instead of them you know, thinking of an excuse or thinking of objections, we've already nailed that down. We've already addressed that. We've already solved the problem for them. We make it easy for them to come in and join us. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I ran through it because I wanted you guys to be able to get as much as you could in a short period of time but once again, you guys can get this template, you guys can get all of the stuff that I've talked about already, some of the stuff that I'll talk about in, in the future. Um, you can literally get all of that stuff. I put together this project to actually help you guys, right? I want to see as many businesses grow as possible. Um, one of my goals is to, to help you know, 100 businesses this year. Um, we're close to it, but I want more. I want to help more businesses. Um, so hopefully you guys can take advantage of that. Click the link below if you want that. If not, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm always here and this stuff's fun to me, so I don't mind answering questions. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you guys in the next hack.